All right, here we are today, Joe Butterfield on Facebook. Business page, Competitive Horseman on Facebook. Competitive Horseman on YouTube. And Instagram, Competitive Horseman, all one word. So today we're gonna to talk about a continuation of the steady pressure game. And then we're gonna add the rhythmic pressure game because if some of you have went and practiced with your horses and it's like I can't get my horses to move with the steady pressure game, how the rhythmic pressure game can help your steady pressure game. All right, number two, we're gonna talk about phases. Phases in all of my horsemanship, meaning whether it be with steady pressure or with rhythmic pressure or with my feet, on how we use the phases to keep our horses moving and yet understanding. So, what is understanding? It, it is a response instead of a reaction. A response has thought to it and understanding. A reaction has fear and escape in it. So as good horsemen, you're watching your horse's expression to try and find out, is he reacting or is he responding? All right, so phases is what keeps that all intact. So in the steady pressure game, hair, skin, flesh, bone are the four phases. At any time, once you start getting a response, then back off to phase one, which is the hair in the steady pressure game. In rhythmic pressure game, there's a song, Clyde Joe Was a Wooden Indian, and the beat to it is boom, 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 until you get a response. So here it is. Boom, 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 boom. So that's rhythmic pressure, getting the four quarters to rotate around the hind quarters. All right. Now, I'm gonna show you how the rhythmic pressure with the stick can help you in your steady pressure game getting the hind quarters to rotate around the four quarters. So notice how the stick is in my hand here, like this, and it's gonna boom, 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 boom. So watch here now. Gotta play the friendly game first because this horse is gonna try and move when I stick it there. See how he's trying to move? I didn't ask for anything yet. So I gotta just rub first until he stops moving. And then I'm gonna ask. He hasn't stopped yet, has he? Still hasn't stopped yet. Now he's, oh, close, but he hasn't stopped yet not asking for anything. So I'm gonna use my, still hasn't stopped. He's anticipating, I don't want him anticipating. I don't want him running down the alley before I ask him to. Here's a good scenario here on how you get your horses with you. Tried to back up, he's tried to go forward. So my left hand up here has helped. To tell him to stay, now I'm ready to start. See how this stick is bouncing off his hip because I've went to my fingernails on phase four and it didn't work. Say so I was gonna move the four quarters around and they're spinning their ass out. You can use this stick to bump them on the butt, get the energy to come through to his front feet and rub them to a stop. All right, so that's how rhythmic pressure can help your steady pressure. I was using my fingernails as to phase four and it wasn't working, so then the stick came into play, right? There we go again, rub first. And he stepped underneath. 
hind leg stepped underneath there and then I quit. All right, four quarters, drag them forward a little bit, get forward motion, then you can bounce that stick off his butt, just like that, get him to step around, and then rub him to a stop. Friendly cane comes before and after everything you do. What if I wanted to back him up and I'm all the way to the hair here? Bounce this off the ground, and then if I had to, it would bounce up and hit him in the chest. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you could use your knees. Let's say you don't have your stick. Rhythmic pressure combined with steady pressure to help get the message across to your horse on, on what you're trying to get accomplished here. All right, so that being said, yesterday was a little bit of an advanced move trying to get the hindquarters to two track basically but his head was looking in the direction he's going that's the advanced move to begin with you're going to start this move by happening to break his head and neck here in order to help you out so we have to get this soft first with steady pressure, bending the head and the neck. Now watch how this takes the slack out and this hand goes to the snap. Two, three, four. All right, so phases is ringing the bell before you come with the heat. Pablonian theory. You ring a bell and you feed a dog a steak, and then pretty soon when you ring the bell, there's saliva coming out of your dog's mouth, but the steak's still in the freezer. That's how you train horses too. Ring the bell first. These have built-in hinges. There's, this is back braided, this halter shank here, so there's a hinge here, there's a hinge at the knot, there's a hinge at the snap, and there's a hinge at the other knot. So getting this head and neck to bend first, with softness should be probably one of the first things you do after you've done the friendly game with your horse. Starting your steady pressure game. Two, three. See how the slack goes up and it lets this hand go down. They call it tromboning. Trombone down here. Four and then my fingers close. One, two, three. And I get some try and I let go. All right, let's do it again. Two, three, four. Now I got more try and I let go. All right, so one, two, three, four. Once I'm done tromboning, two, three, four. One, two, three, and if they're coming at three, and then let go. All right, understanding in horsemanship when a horse tries is when you release. When you feel the try, release. You can do it over and over and over again and then pretty soon you can get more and more and more. One of the things that I see people doing here is they want them to come all the way around and touch the stirrup the first time and then they never do get them soft. So as soon as they start to come let go and then as a good horseman just build on that a little more and a little more and a little more. All right so I brought that all up here because in the steady pressure game, getting the hindquarters to move underneath, or even the rhythmic pressure game, we have to discuss some rein positions. An indirect rein is the pinky going underneath the shank like this. That's an indirect rein. Well, people grab on to their shank wrong. So they want to they have their, their knuckles down and the thumb towards the horse's nose. You got to have your knuckles up the thumb towards you and the pinky towards the horse's nose. Just like you got a set of reins in your hands, right? Like this. You don't grab your reins with your knuckles down like this. You grab them like this, right? So when we do this indirect rein here, the rein position is that when I get his head and neck bent, that my pinky is going to go towards my belly button. If it hasn't broke loose yet, to have him step underneath with his hindquarters 
then I'm going to run that pinky right up to my shoulder. You're always thinking of doing the stuff on the ground as if you're in the saddle. So, as I get here like this, one, two, three, four, and I got him to bend. See this pinky? It's up into my belly button. Then I push them hindquarters around. And then I release. That's an indirect rein, all right? Indirect rein, pinky up. And it goes up to the sky. It doesn't cross the neck, it goes up to the sky. Just like you're gonna lift that shoulder and lift them ribs in the saddle someday. So, let's just jump on the back here right away and show you how rhythmic pressure can help you with this stick up on the back Let's say you're not getting your hindquarters to move around when you're up on your horse's back. All right, a little steady pressure to move his four quarters around so that he's at the camera. Here, okay, one, two, three. All right, so there we've got a neutral rein, but then when it turns into an indirect rein here, see how my pinky's under and then my stick bounces off his hip to get him to step underneath and I quit again just for camera stake sake I'm not going to do the phases here so I just got him in a neutral rein get off your pockets your leg goes back and your stick bounces off his hips there to get the hind quarters to move around let's say I wanted the four quarters to move around so steady pressure here with one rein and then this stick goes up and around so you don't hit him in the eye you got the hind the four quarters to move around one more time here steady pressure rhythmic pressure now i got the four quarters to move around the hind quarters all right so that's how your stick can help you out if you want you could use the end of your shank you could have use the end of your rein that's rhythmic pressure all right so now that we've got that across to you folks what else do you use rhythmic pressure for me i really love it when i'm gonna i'll use rhythmic pressure with a foot when i'm cantering my circles and i'm sick of trying to hold them ribs out of the way and he ain't responding my throat turns out bump them with my calf muscle and then I bump them with my heel if need be just as I'm riding around to try and get them shoulders and ribs to the outside of the circle. It comes in really handy maybe going into the hole with uh, my barrel horses if I'm doing my slow work or whatever and I'm trying to pull stuff out of the way with my leg and it isn't working with this indirect ring. See how now that I don't want to move the hindquarters as much I don't want to even move them, I just want to move the ribs. Then this indirect rein, this pinky isn't going near as far up to the sky, right? It's just a little indirect rein up against his neck and some rhythmic pressure to get him to move his ribs over. All right, any pressure. But I also use rhythmic pressure when I'm backing up. One steady, one rhythmic. of how the rhythmic pressure combined with steady pressure can help you get the message across to your horse so you have two or more individuals understanding an idea and moving forward all right so that's it for today if you guys uh, like my stuff please share it give me a like then I know that uh, you guys are getting something out of it and I'll keep giving you more let's get these horses trained and ready for some competitions